again everyone, welcome to Scotland. This is mine and Ellie's first time up in this glorious countryside. Uh, we were craving some nature because we've got a lot of urban trips coming up soon. And um, we thought, you know what, it's been 27 years and I've still never been to Scotland. So here we finally are and uh, it is beautiful. So we're doing a, a two day road trip um, through the Highlands. We're at Loch Lomond at the moment. And we're heading up north, hopefully going towards Isle of Skye, staying at a place in Fort William. And I thought I'd make a, a video similar to how I used to make them, the, uh, the old travel ones, rather than all being solid photography videos. I just kind of want to roll with the travel stuff and, yeah, enjoy the vibes and the views. Oh, it's nice to be back in nature again. Just need that kick every now and then to just get some fresh air and get out of the city. Uh, but otherwise, I always love the city, so it's that constant battle, isn't it? Back and forth. I'm so glad that Scotland is so close to uh, reach. No, they've not built the rest of Scotland. So originally we were driving up the <coughs> east side of Loch Lomond, and uh, we got as far as we could go, and there's a little viewpoint. And then we realised that the road continues on uh, as a private road. So, <laughs> we're having to come back around to the south, and then back up the west, um, which is fine but uh, there isn't much in the way of food along the way and we saw this little cafe, so it's like it's probably our only option. So, lunch time. Mm. What are you researching? I'm actually doing my Instagram story. <laughs> Got caught in the rain a little bit, but it's actually just that come down heavier, so we timed it as best we could. <laughs> Woo! <Le> There's <sighs> a surprise, it's raining in Scotland. <laughs> we're now going to drive around to Glencoe, which is about two hours away. Uh, so we're slowly making our way up. From when we left Edinburgh this morning, it was a three and a bit, four hour drive, so that already has taken us about six hours. <laughs> But um, that's that's the thing, isn't it? The the end point isn't the uh, the destination isn't the what's the what's the thing? The journey is the destination. <laughs> what? <laughs> some some like quote uh, enter here a quote about journey being the destination, something like that. I don't know. Double vlogging! Double vlogging! Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I think, I think we're in Glenorchy, or near to. Are we? I think so. I really don't think we are. I saw signs for Glenorchy. Yeah, but I don't think we're near. We're near enough to be on the direction to Glenorchy. <laughs> yeah, so we're heading towards Glencoe. Um, and I think that is also near. We're not quite there yet. Uh, about 15 miles away from there, I think. But uh, yeah, just stopped off a little parking route. Um, get oh. some photos of the light changing. We're around Black Mount. I don't know how you say that. Achalada? Cha it would be Ak... Akala... Akalada. Akalada? I don't know. It's near the... It, the lake is Black Mount, I'm guessing. Mm. Before this trip, we were packing at like up until about 2 a.m. or something silly. That seems to happen every trip. And uh, it's usually because I go around in circles thinking, have I got everything, have I got everything? And driving today I've realized, no, I don't have everything because I don't have my rain cover or some more like water related items for my camera bag. So I don't have my microfiber cloth to wipe things down when it gets wet. So um, yeah, I guess I will continue to be in the cycle of staying up late before a flight making sure I packed everything because I clearly forget everything. I think it's quite typical that we would go in and out of wet and dry. This is like peak British <laughs> weather scenario. 
and even talking about it is peak British. <laughs> <laughs> we always talk about the weather. Mm, look at that light coming across in the breaks in the clouds. Tasty. Ah, it's really cold. <laughs> I tell you what, it's really nice having a stabilised sensor on this because it's so windy, but it keeps it nice and stable. So I don't have to raise my shutter speed to ridiculous levels, which of course raises the ISO. It's good, I like it. Although the uh, stabilisation is terrible for video, but it's good for photos. Mm, it's good lighting right now. It is? Yeah. Oh, there's some person over there. <laughs> Some person. Some person. <laughs> I just want to see a Highland cow. That's what I'm looking for. Mm. Um, by the way, we've just crossed the border into the Highlands. Did you notice that? Yeah, we're 20 minutes away from Glencoe. Yeah. We're definitely uh, coming into like New Zealand Mordor style. <laughs> Look at that, that is just dark ahead. That guy's taking a picture. Yeah. Quick toilet and drink break. <laughs> okay, I'll have um, a coffee, um, a big sandwich that you'll probably have to carry in two parts. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep the car warm. So out over there is uh, a mountain. Yeah. Hello! Well, we can start to see it. Got my chat. <laughs> Do you want to see? Well, that wasn't very straight, was it? <laughs> Bad timing. Bad timing. Uh, really testing out the wind filter on this mic though. Probably still can't hear it though, can you? That's what I love about road trips though. You can drive like a minute and then uh, you want to stop again. As I was trying to say up there, if it's too windy, I don't know if you could hear me. One thing I love about road trips is that you can drive around and every, like, I don't know, mile or so you'll want to stop and get out and get photos. Or in the case of around here, you'll drive literally 20 seconds, stop, get out, take a photo, and in those 20 seconds the weather has changed. <laughs> uh, I actually knocked off my ND filter and it rolled in the mud. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. So, I'll have to give that a clean later. It's probably with magnetic ones, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Ah, oh, mistake again. Another mistake. It started raining. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> How long was I out there for? Like 25 seconds? <laughs> And he was like, oh, do you want to stop? I'll park here. You can just hop out. Take the second exit onto Locker Bridge Junction towards Kyle of Lockouch. So we're at the final bit and Apple Maps said right, but Google Maps said left. So we'll find out which one's right or left. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Right in the middle of nowhere. We've checked into our Airbnb now and uh, this is pretty good. So we've had a, a pretty cold and wet day, but a uh, enjoyable start to our road trip around Scotland. Um, so there's going to be a second part to this 
Uh, tomorrow we're going to be heading to uh, Glenfinnan and the Isle of Skye and maybe some other areas, maybe even Loch Ness as well. Um, so make sure you do subscribe to the channel, turn on push notifications and you'll get updates on when uh, that video goes live. And I am very much looking forward to it. So I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching everyone. See you later. Bye bye. What a roller coaster of just everything. I think this has been by far the the uh, most enjoyable place. This is so beautiful. Scotland, you did it again, <laughs> you fucker.